Hey my Beth here. This video is made to record my progress throughout the year in my art and in myself as well. I will be discussing what I've done thus far alongside the artwork's respective themes and meanings. My final artwork will also be discussed as well as the installation that will be paired with that. About me. My name is Emma Beth Erasmus. I'm 21 years old and I'm in my third year of university. I personally struggle with mental illness. Making art is something I enjoy doing because it has always been an important part of my life and helped me cope with difficult emotions and situations. But I have seen this year that my mood and state of mind creates a difference in my works. The theme of my project deals with mental illness, mostly depression. It also deals with the side effects thereof and the emotions people live through while going through a depressive episode. I chose this theme because I was feeling heavily depressed when the project started, and I feel that the frustration I felt shines through in my first two works. As an artist, it is my hope and mission to build a platform for people who are experiencing mental health challenges. My goal is to raise awareness among my audience that they are not alone in their battle with depression, and that there is, really is light at the end of the tunnel. My inspiration comes from within, but also from the people around me. Seeing them come out of their own dark places helped me get out of mine. My first artwork of the year is named All Her Faces. I used my friend Donica Stevens as reference. She struggles with depression and anxiety. She is the vocal point of the image, and she is smiling as she always does, even while undergoing mental strain. We see three faces. The face in the middle is that of a smiling girl. To her left and her right, there are faces, not very clear to see, but they are there. They are hers. These represent her suppressed anger towards her mental illness, and the concern of having to deal with it her whole life. I kept the figure in the background as it is a reminder of where my artwork started. This figure also shows us that we are held captive by our own negative thoughts in our minds, where they have complete control over us. Here, I have shown my progress throughout my journey making this artwork. My second artwork of the year is named The Hidden Shadow. I used my friend Jacques Tredu as reference. He has major depression. I wanted to convey that even though he seems unfazed while smoking a cigarette, his real self is screaming on the inside, not able to break free from its confinements. The cigarette is the only thing in his reality that is keeping him composed. Without it, he would have lost his mind. This also depicts how we turn to addiction to get away from our problems. The cigarette is also the metaphorical glue for his lips. Without it, his real emotions would be spilling out. Here, I have shown my progress throughout my journey making this artwork. Reflecting on these two artworks, they are not my best pieces but each holds their value. Throughout this year, I've been struggling to finish them, and maybe they should be unfinished, like my journey on the path to bettering my mental health is unfinished. These artworks have seen me at my lowest and my highest points. The third artwork I made this year is named Mania Embodied. I used my friend Jessica Janssen von Fieren as reference. She struggles with bipolar disorder. She appears weary and drained, but her manic self is driving her to smile and stay awake so that she may put on a show for the people around her and to get things done at work. Behind her, her manic self can be seen standing with a menacing smile on her face, signaling that the woman is on her way to cause trouble for Jessica once again. The pattern of locusts in the background is a symbol of horrible things to come, but she can do nothing to stop them. Whether she likes it or not, the irrational Jessica will soon be in charge.
This last piece is a self-portrait that I did, where I depicted locusts flying out of my mouth. It is called The Great Escape. These locusts are the symbols for the decay of my mental health. This year, I was diagnosed with other bipolar disorder with a B-type personality. The locusts are flying out of my mouth and surrounding me. They are the bad thoughts that have been laying bad eggs in my brain this whole year, and their colony has grown so big that I cannot contain them anymore. Paired with the Great Escape, the locusts that will be hanging from the roof will have wings made from old medicine boxes, symbolizing that my medication that is keeping me sane also has different side effects that also cause me much distress. Even though the locusts, the bad thoughts, are escaping their imprisonment from my brain, I'm also escaping them by letting myself set them free.